baying ita yalo bani nyong ay ko mija ko karya ng ita ngayon kiga ng ina yalo bani ko welcome you to this country here in Kabul and I just welcome you through in my father's language. Origins of the organisation goes back of many many years and come about because of one particular issue, and that issue was. Uh, at the back of Cardley, there's a huge national park there. Decision makers at the time within the government and national parks decided to name that national park uh, Lumholz National Park. The elders came up with the name Girigan. The national park was eventually changed to Girigan National Park, but at the same time that, that working group became known as uh, the Girigan Corporation. The greatest success of the organisation has been the ability to unite nine groups over a huge geographical region. What's really wonderful about our board is when they sit there at that governance table, there, they're making decisions not only on behalf of their own groups, but on the whole, the whole organisation. The, the benefit and also the challenge for Gerrigan is, is having to work within a massive area of, of both land and sea country. The IPA itself is our management area and that covers about 1.2 million hectares. Uh, we're, we're undertaking all sorts of research both on the land, cultural uh, sites of significance, we're monitoring them and protecting them. Uh, we're working with our stakeholder partners for the same sort of reasons to, to manage them and, and also pest and weed animals. We're very wide varied. I am sitting down here at the uh, front of that uh, big rock here, about this important story about this uh, carb snake, what we call in the language here, Magui. It's a very sacred site. These are the kind of uh, story we want because it's a real story that been, you know, uh, been passed down from generation. I think working at Gerrigan and, and in this, um, this Girrigan area is, um, is really diverse. We do a lot of NRM work, we do a lot of partnership work with uh, Queensland Parks and Wildlife, um, Council, the different PBCs. I think because of the, the diversity and the passion that the rangers and all the people at, at Girrigan have got in looking after their own country, that really comes through in the work that we do. One thing that is really key for Girrigan, as far as rangers go, is um, our junior rangers program. We've got um, 40, 40 kids signed on to our Junior Rangers program and that, that strikes a chord with all PO groups within Girrigan. They're keen to see that cultural knowledge and also that empathy for the environment passed on to the next generation of kids. I was really impressed how vibrant Girrigan Aboriginal Corporation is, how well it's connected with community, the respect it has and the involvement it has with traditional owners, with elders and with the younger people of um, the community here. Girrigan demonstrates self-determination in their, the way they integrate um, the stories of the past into their direction of the future, how they are trying to find a way forward which is sustainable for the organisation and also for their community through um, the business that they do in the arts and the nursery, their biodiversity approach, so many aspects of the way Girrigan operates. I got three daughters here, they coming back on the pottering and all that. Seeing that I can get them out of the house for what, a couple of days or one day to enjoy everything down here. Well, I feel very, very good. They take some knowledge from us that they can do something. When I could probably get too old, then they can take over. Always underlying all that is that, that uh, respect that cultural respect, that cultural identity, and 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 the, and the belief on where we're going, and working as one to get to those beliefs. That's that's the uniqueness about our governance.